guys so <laughs> first of all this all of this might look familiar right now it's because i'm doing a two for one right now i gotta get it in where i can fit it in with recording these videos but i do want to make sure to keep giving you guys content so i'm working on a dress with a horsehair braid train if you don't know what that is it's the wavy train stuff or the wavy train thing um that's what i called it for the longest when i tried to figure out what it was i would search how to make a train wavy how to make a dress wavy curly train thingy like i searched so many things and could never find it i don't even remember when i finally found out what it was but even when I found out and watched tutorials, it was still a bit tricky for me. And it's one particular type of horsehair braid that I still have not found a tutorial on. And I kind of had to figure it out myself and that's horsehair braid with loops. So I finally figured out how to do that. Wanted to share that with you guys because I'm sure you guys are looking forward to, especially as prom season, you're getting these girls. It's like, hey, I want that wavy train. And you're like, oh, I can try. She don't really know. So I recorded the video for the tutorial while I was doing it, but I looked a hot mess. So I was like, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna do the intro. So keeping it short and sweet. I really hope it helps you guys. I tried to make it as in depth as possible. It's a lot of good tips in it. So please watch it till the end. I will also have in every tutorial that I do in my description, it will be the timestamp so you can skip to certain parts. Like say you know how to sew the horsehair train, I mean the horsehair braid on, but then you don't know how to top stitch it. It will be the timestamp in my description to tell you guys how to do that. Cause I don't wanna waste nobody's time. I want y'all to watch. I want y'all to watch. I wish y'all would watch the whole thing, but I already know how it is on the same way. So I'm gonna get right to the tutorial cause I don't wanna waste y'all time. Watch it, learn something, let me know what you think. All right, bye guys. Who, who does that? I don't do that. Is that like a universal YouTube thing? Cause I don't know where that came from. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber now. That's, that is awesome. Okay guys, so, um, got my three inch horse here. It's the stiff kind. I tried to record the part of me sewing it along the edge, but um, I, had, I, could, I couldn't find my tripod. And I kind of had to rig one up using some cups. So this part is already done, but basically, um, really, there are many tutorials on YouTube about how to do the horse hair and how to sew it on. I just really want to show you guys how to do this part. But I'll still go through the whole thing for you. So this basically, I started the middle of my back, and this is the end of the train. So I started right here and I just placed it in my sewing machine and I sewed along the edge, fabric right side up. I sewed a half an inch away from my edge. The key to this is just following the curve of the fabric without pulling or stretching this. And what you'll notice is as you follow that curve, naturally this part of your horse hair will pucker up, which will give you the foundation for your waves. So now what I'm going to show you guys is how you, the first I'm going to do a zigzag stitch along here. If you're doing something like a baby doll dress or something, cover this with um, ribbon or just something so it's not scratchy. But since this will be at the back of my train with the end of my train, it's no need. I'll just do a zigzag stitch. Now what I'm going to do is go around this and take every so often take a piece uh -uh, and just pull it a little bit just like that i'm gonna go down a little bit further and i'm gonna pull it down some and I'm just doing this randomly I don't see how y'all sew with nails Lord I love my nails but they are so difficult so just pull it a little bit not too much 
I'm gonna do that all the way around. And if this is the last thing that you're doing um, and your dress is already put together, mine isn't, I'm just working on the train first. Then you can just put it on the dress form or mannequin, whatever you're using. And you could just pull it as you see fit. Like you can actually see where the curves will kind of be. So now that my loops are pulled, set this stuff like this irritates me, I don't know why. Okay, so as you can see, I'm taking this, folding it down. Make sure that this is flat right here. We're gonna go over, almost close to the edge. Drop my presser foot. This is the edge right here. I'm not gonna go that far. It doesn't really matter if you want to, you can, but I just wanna make sure that I don't sew over where that edge is. So I'm just gonna stay right here. Put the needle down. And I'm going to, all while making sure, actually I am gonna place some pins. How you pin is you hold it in your hand like this and you take your thumb and you slide your thumb up to where it pulls this part down here tight. Take your pin, stick it through, stick it back through. Show you again. Take this, slide it up. Mix all of this flat. Take your pin, stick it through. Do that all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna stitch. You honestly could wait until after you uh, top stitch to pull these, but I just don't like the effect that it gives on the top of the fabric. It looks kind of strained or something. I don't, I don't like it. So I am doing it this way. Okay. So I'm gonna do keeping it flat, taking my time. If you feel like you're gonna get off track, I would recommend placing a piece of tape right here so you can guide and make sure that you are staying where you need to stay at. Okay. So I'm gonna follow this line right here. Now I don't know how helpful this will be, <laughs> but this is how I like to sew this to keep it flat. I'll pull this and I'll pull this and sometimes this will pucker up like this. So what I do is I'll hold this like this, holding this piece right here, flat, following my guideline, and I take my arm and I slightly pull down on it like that and it flattens it out so I can sew. I'm just gently pulling with my arm just to keep it flat. And look at this. I want you guys to see how it is already curling where we pulled our strings. So the bodice of this dress is not done yet. Um, I just wanted to get this on out the way. Um, so as you can see, I have not done anything to the bottom of it as far as placing it, which most designers, including myself, will do. We will place the waves how we want them for our photos. But this is how it waves up without me even having to do that. So this is an example of what it looks like. Um, I'm trying to do my best with it on me, but this is an example of what it looks like when you actually place your waves. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you get a chance, show us some love, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Especially if I'm posting this link on Facebook and you my Facebook friend, you better share because I show y'all so much love. But I don't know how to share anyway. So if you guys enjoyed it, do all of that that I had said and just show me some love. If there are any more tutorials that you guys want done, 
let me know in the comments and I promise you I will do them. So I have some videos already lined up, but give me some more ideas. Whatever it is, go on my website, look at some stuff. And if you see something that you want to learn how to do, just let me know and I'll do it. So yeah, until next time, guys.